Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata. Ain't no passing grace. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's a problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata? Yeah, it's a motto. What's a motto? Nothing. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Those two words will solve all your problems. Take Puma, for example. Why? When he was a young one, hog. When I was a young one, hog. Very nice. Thanks. He found his aroma quite a certain appeal. He could clear the whole savanna after every meal. I'm a sensitive soul. I seem thick skin and it hurts that my friends couldn't stood down with and oh the shame oh what a shame thought of changing my name oh what's in a name and I got down how did you feel every time that I whoa 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 whoa, whoa. Pumba not in front of the kids oh sorry Hakuna Matata what a wonderful phrase Hakuna Matata Ain't no passing grace It means no worries For the rest of your day Sing it, kid! It's a problem free Philosophy Hakuna Matata show starts, we would please like to ask you to silence all cell phones and mobile devices. Photography and audio recordings of any kind during the performance is strictly prohibited. And now... From lands far, far away and long ago, live on this stage... Brought to you by the Princess Complex... They are... Your host for Disenchanted! Please welcome Snow White, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty! opened her eyes. She instantly fell in love with the prince, and soon after, they were married. The prince placed a glass slipper on Cinderella's foot. The slipper fit perfectly. She instantly fell in love with the prince, and soon after, they were married. Sleeping Beauty was kissed by a very handsome prince, and she awoke from a hundred years of sleep. She instantly fell in love with the prince, and soon after, they were married. And they lived happily ever after. Well, not, not exactly. exactly. Hit it! You can call me Snow. Hi. 
turn this mother out in about an hour and a half, which by theater law requires one 15 minute intermission. But I called in a favor and asked my fairy godmother to give you an extra 10 on top of that. You're welcome. Uh, okay, 9.25 it is. Well, I guess we better get right to telling you how happily ever after we really are because let's face it, happily ever after can be a royal pain in the touch. And just 
because let's talk turkey, shall we? We've all fallen prey to the princess complex. You know, that age-old idea in which you're only desirable if you're an insecure, beauty-obsessed, ditzy, Bambi-like waif. Book. Ah, yes, the princess complex, which, by the way, has some really terrible side effects. Take, for instance, my good friend Belle. Now, Belle here hasn't been feeling quite like herself lately, but she insisted on sharing her happily ever after with us in the hopes that the truth will help her overcome her tussle with the princess complex. My name is Belle, and I come from a small provincial town in the north of France, and yet I speak with an American accent. And I don't know why. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Belle. Do you hear that? That's the clock upon the mantel, and he's talked about time. Please, please. I have a teapot in my kitchen who whistles and walks and sings. Have you met my candle lover? With all his friends meanderings. This is not the way my story used to be. Everything around me chatters and just loves to chew the fat. And that little chip cup just won't shut up! How loony tuned is that? And some sound so great, and some speak oh, oh, français. I find that I'm trapped in a fairy tale. Tana Disney. Way. And I can't help but think this is. Has Mickey lost his mind? This is so lame. And I'm out 
could be so damn unkind to a girl from classic lit who nibbles on now like a twit with pottery furniture carpeting I could just spit and it's driving me insane Flatware often greets me like some heavenly kitchen choir. I just took a stroll with a casserole and a chat with a deep pan fryer. And the fork and spoon like the dancing croon around the dining room. No lie. I like to take that movie and set it on fire. Cause it's driving me insane. Can't you see? This tale is all this time went straight down the drain. Now my life has no reason or rhyme When I eat, I get stressed I just sit at the table and I'm so depressed Cause I'm scared that those dishes will break in two Be our girl And it's driving me insane Talking to an outer object is the least of my worries. Let's talk insane. Does anyone else think that's strange? That my pain. Cause I'm dating a guy who got mange. Here's the dirt, here's the scoop. I'm the girl who picked up her husband's poop. Ew. How much longer can they make this character stoop? Just driving me insane. those blossoms in their hair so beautiful and dutiful and virginal I swear serving up another cup of tea with love and care done that been there but I am no one's geisha because that's Japanese. And let's not ignore in Chinese lore I went to war and saved the day. Yes, I ditched my fan dressed like a man. Well, that's how I'm portrayed. I wonder why I didn't get the guy. Then it occurred. To me that I just might
might be lesbian. I might be lesbian. Sure, I would hang with Katie Lang, but I'm a little bit shy. I might be lesbian. Lesbian. And I'd be telling a lie if I hadn't thought that maybe that's why I'm the only princess here without the guy. History and fairy tales would have you think there's only one way for a princess to get by. Be super cute, eat poison food, fall comatose. Till some man on a white horse happens to happen by And then you're flying high Cause you think you need a guy Or else you might just die Well not every girl is gowns and curls God knows we've tried For some of us that old grim bus Just up and passed us by But that doesn't mean we don't have dreams Of damsels in distress it simply means those screaming girls get saved by someone in a dress. Yeah, I might be lesbian. And when I watch ESPN, I am a queen like Billie Jean. Now it can't be so wrong if this Disney thespian went to generation. And to tell you the truth, those fables are so long in the tooth And whether a princess decides If she's gonna be the groom or the bride I'm sure that fairy tales will be fine With some Gurdjieff style Yeah, I might be lesbian What's wrong with lesbian? I can rule kingdoms from the sea to Shanghai Let's all be lesbian Miss Rosa Asian girls are pretty with those blossoms in their hair. So beautiful and dutiful. Done that. Been We're having a few technical difficulties. Close the curtains! Okay, 925, remember folks? We gotta keep this moving! 925! Cinderella! Introduce the next princess! No! Run! Ow! <laughs> and now, right now, all the way from Copenhagen with her very own fishtail, here's a girl who gave up her father, her fin, and even her voice just to net a man. Please welcome, just for the hell of it, the one, the only, singing chicken of the sea!
Jesus. I'm gonna need a veil. Okay, so I've been quiet a long time, but now I got a lot to say. I got a lot to say. Long ago, when I was just a glimmer in my parents' eyes, girls like me never do it. Still I don't lie. And then I came along, the teenage boy craze swimmer with the flirty eyes, a spoiled problem child, a headstrong. Then one night, a stormy sea tossed the ship about. A handsome prince fell overboard, and I gave him mouth to mouth. From then on, I was hooked, and I knew this rebellious daughter would walk among the world of terror. Red-headed, my beetle fish out of water. Whoa, two legs. Too many. I gladly dump my six inch heels to jump back in with the more eels. Too late to turn back now. I can't believe I swapped the seven seas for a prince and a pair of these. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my husband dearly. With all my heart, I'm just wondering if I made a foolish trade. Ah, handing in my mermaid fin was clearly mine. My life was great until I got filleted. Oh, her legs are inconvenient. I gotta shave them twice a week. And I find I have to cross them, or else I'll give the boys a peek. And her feet require tending, cause they blister up and crack. I wish to dance in my skull, but after both my arches fell, I wish he'd throw me back. Whoa, too late. Horseshoe crabs too late to turn back now. I can't believe I swapped the seven seas for a prince and a pet of these. Now I despise having flabby thighs and I'd give them up with leave. If I knew I could go back to 20,000 flipping leaves underneath the sea.
getting back on track now. Here she is from the Pretty Pine. <laughs> So you woke up just for that? I thought I'd surprise you. No, I'm surprised, all right. What is this? What are you even supposed to be anyways? I'm a doll, <laughs> a deer, a female deer. OK, red. I get it, I get it. Look, that is probably one of the most ridiculous, nonsensical harebrained things I've ever seen. Hello! <laughs> Look, it's a bluebird. Can you see? <coughs> Cinderella! Cinderella! Can I sing my song now? <laughs> Good idea. We'll do it later. Take two. Now, here she is from the Pretty Pinewoods of Appalachia in another patently percipient parody pushing parade of Platinum mind protest, proffering pep and poignancy, a personable pint-sized eye-peeling pixie from the past that we pray will please and propel you to passionately put your palms parallel for the poltroonous yet possessingly appealing and presently peeped Peloton Princess. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Say it with me, my people. Po Complex. The princess complex. The princess complex. The princess complex. The princess complex. A newly fragrance brewed up by the friendly folks that brought you toddlers and tiaras. A show that ran six seasons on TLC. The Learning Channel. The princess complex. A parfum du toilet. A delicate feminine scent. A cologne for the discerning lady designed to make you absolutely reek with the smell of fear and insecurity. The princess complex. Rawr. <laughs> One spray on the wrist and you'll be pining away with your knight in shining armor. A handsome, dashing stranger who will swoop in and rescue you from your lonely, pathetic, useless existence. The princess complex. A specially concocted potion that guarantees despair. Prolonged crying spells. And starvation resulting in a waistline smaller than your own neck. The princess complex. Just a dab behind each ear and you too can look forward to spending a lifetime as a damsel in distress. Wait, a damsel in distress? A lifetime as a damsel in distress. Me, I'm brain free without a clue as to why. We, we are, are so ditzy, we're helpless, we frail. But we're happy as long as a prince saves our tail. So we'll be obedient wise for the rest of our lives. Wait, the rest of our lives? Isn't that a really long time? Why, yes, because happily ever after is forever. I'm obsessed with my looks I'm obsessed with my hair And when seven men need a maid, I'm so there We are so delicate, weak through and through Just waiting for charming to ride into view And that's how a princess survives For the rest of our lives Long, long ago, long ago When man first created a princess How, how could we know? How could we know? need is a prince and a castle and these to succeed these indeed one spritz proceed look at me i'm cute look at me i'm spry and i'm one size short of a full pizza pie we are so sad we're so darn cliche but as long as a man and a mo comes our way we'll happily wait till the baby arrives for the rest of our Pocahontas.
Francis in her own words. Some love history and some make it their own. That's how it goes, I suppose. And some can take what's real and make it not so real. And I wonder why we just stand by. The truth is I was just a child. And if you saw me, I really only stood this tall. And every problem seemed so small. Till Hollywood came calling And that's when Look at me now My dear skin is cut way above me now there's too much to see now when did I get blushed and looks like my makeover was completely rushed my hair is just way over brushed look at how it swirls round in the wind all the colors of the wind am I the only one that this affects Strike up the band. Me, 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 me. Well, <laughs> that's not surprising. Close the curtains! Cinderella. Cinderella. Hello. Look, it's getting late, and this is the last chance for Princess Ambien over there to sing her song. So let's calmly jump ahead to the next princess. Calmly. Got it. Next princess! Everybody skip ahead to the next princess! Next princess! Next princess! Look alive, my show! You heard the lady! Jump ahead to the next princess! Next princess! Next princess! Next princess! Ow! Ah! 
slipper. I know. Mama's gonna need a new pair of shoes. Mama's gonna need you to focus. It's so keen, it's downright swell that she's standing here with Cinderella. It's a well told tale that we like to tell. And it stars me. Yes, it's turning time to see the light on the movie screen. So big and bright, and even though I still sound white. a storybook princess when I was a baby I hoped and prayed maybe I'd be a storybook princess I had a dream to be part of that team and better late than never that's a fact Finally gone black. That's right, y'all. I made it. How you doing? You know what I'm talking about. We must be lit up in here, y'all. Ain't ready. Check this out. It's about time that they let this go around so I could be a storybook princess. But why did it take them so long to give a sister a song? Look at me. I'm that storybook princess. It's been hundreds of years, but at last it appears there's a new girl. And baby's got back now. I am that storybook princess that's finally gone black. They made movies with toys, bugs, and cars, and that annoys me. Where was my storybook princess? I've been waiting around, and now I've broken new ground. I'm what? I'm that storybook princess. I've gone from book to theme park. Now I'm making my mark. And child, there's no turning back Cause I am that storybook princess That's finally gone black Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, Now I'm sure it took persuasion To draw me darker than Caucasian I'm not dense, it's all is in sense My plush dolls wouldn't hit the rack Unless it made good business to bet on Princess, now I'm painting the town with fairy tale Jackie Brown. Watch out, she's that storybook princess. Now I'm up on the screen, the first to be a queen. And Logan with a frog is kind of whack. Whack a whack. I am that storybook princess. That's finally now this girl from the hood moved on up. She done good. And this referred to ain't taking no flack. Oh, uh, I got this. I am. It's finally gone. 
many of us princesses originally hail from the German motherland, first, of course, was me. Everybody's favorite, Snow White. <laughs> Better known as Schneebitchen. The Brothers Grimm also popularized other German princesses, like Cinderella, also known as Ashaputu. Yeah, something like that. Now, to sell cinema tickets and plush dolls to the masses, we German princesses had to be Americanized, commercialized, merchandised, advertised, right before our eyes. Eyes. I told you not to do that. I apologize. What we're trying to say is that there is one German princess who refuses to give in to the capitalism and greed of Hollywood. And she's here with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome in Rapunzel! And now, I see. Mine is a tale of pain and woe, a deep, dark tragedy. And I've got a story. It's a well-told allegory, no lies, no fibs, no cock, no cock. Und, und. Nein! I've got a yarn that I may spin for you, and it's a bummer of a catastrophe. See, it's about the way that I'm displayed online on the world wide web and on sale at your local Dollar Tree. I find myself on every ball March shelf. And this Walt Disney has pimped me out to the suits on Old Wall Street. T-shirts, I'm on T-sets, heck, I'm even on your bunch. And I've seen my face most every place. I'm on Pampers near the baby's crutch. You can even find my kisser on your tuba pepso dent. What have I got to show for it? Not one red cent. Would you wouldn't believe the Coco Mammy merchandise they put us poor princesses on? I'm on sweatpants, I'm on swim trucks, I'm on girlies underwear. Hey, you've tattooed my puss on your cobus. Don't lie, you know it's there. Hey, you can even find this Fräulein's mug on laundry detergent. Hey, hey, und what have I got to show for it? Not one red cent. 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 Without some pay, I'll wonder where my Wiener schnitzel went. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. How much do we get from every dollar that is spent? Not one red cent. That you! And now we all sing. Oh, do you feel like it? When I say not one red cent, you say not one red cent. Ready? Let's give it a try. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. That's how much I get from every dollar that is spent. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. That was awful. <laughs> there is a discrepancy. There is only one way to solve this. There is? I mean, there is. <laughs> mm -hmm. With a sing off. <laughs> Now, we will split the audience. 
Sneewitchen. Yeah. You will have from this seat all the way to that seat um, and down and up. Yeah. That means ocean poodle, you will have them. But I don't think that this is fair. Now we practice. Sneewitchen, you are first. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. That's how much I get from every dollar that is spent. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. Not bad. You understand the concept of the echo. All right. Ocean Poodle, your turn. Und. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. That's how much I get from every dollar that is spent. Not, Not one red cent. Red cent. <laughs> Embarrassing. You failed. Okay, now for the sing off. Remember to follow your leaders. Okay, here we go. On the count of three, eins, zwei, drei. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. You can find my face on pack of minty fresh trident. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. I'm a box of BTs, but it don't change my bank statement. Not one red cent. Not one red cent. Also in a book called 1001 Nights. Anybody? Seriously? Nope. Nobody? <laughs> One reader? Two, re two readers. <sighs> You're all homeschooled. <sighs> now to help the rest of you out, I was also in the children's books called The Stories of Aladdin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in the movies, they like to call me Princess Jasmine. Well, that's not me. You see, truth of the matter is, is that the original Aladdin stories were from South Asia. Don't you just love it when a big family entertainment company takes an original classic story and twists it into a whole new world? Shining. Shimmering, splendid, hashtag, are you kidding me? 
I literally just got the right to drive that thing. No matter how you slice it, you still got a Jafar way to go. See what I did there? Now, no matter how you put it, all they really want to do is make sure I'm a secondary princess in a secondary role. The spotlight's on the guy who rubs the lamp. My father is a sultan and my boyfriend's really cute, but my costume makes me look like I'm a secondary tramp. I don't do much of work and such. I'm simply story free. I'm the poster child for Middle Eastern misogyny. I'm a secondary princess living a secondary life in a story where the men have all the fun. I'm told that all I'll ever need is to marry and to breed, puffing out a harem of kids one by one. But before you place your bet, then I'm the girl you'll soon forget. A secondary princess. Another black cartoon co-cat. Keep in mind that now that I can drive a car, I'll drive it straight down the throat of all Jafar. And then this woman's work is finally done. Cause when a secondary princess with a secondary bloodline with a secondary feeling to no one. Blah, 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 blah. And now my song is done. Princess complex rule number three, two, three. Always remember, girls, we're princesses. We never eat. I run 10 miles a day. Wasted a Milky Way. I had some ribs. <gasps> removed last week <laughs> and I skip every breakfast buffet I breaststroke to Africa we take hot yoga just to sweat out each snack and I haven't eaten since yesterday Cause we're told to keep our waistline shrinking Told to keep that weighing number sinking But I just can't stop thinking that All I wanna do is eat a burger All I wanna do is eat hot pockets Even though princesses are told to stay light on their feet All I want to do is cheat. All I want to do is eat. I go to Zumba dance. And I've crossed the Gobi just to fit in these pants. And I sucked down a bottle of Lipazine just last week. Cause we're told to keep my metabolism popping. Told to keep those extra pounds a dropping. But I just can't help stopping and think. All I wanna do is eat Little Debbies Even though princesses are told They gotta have a tiny, tiny seat That doesn't keep me from thinking That a single french fry would more than satisfy This hunger deep inside me But in our fields and books and stuff Until we're going to start raving. 
is your best friend. I'm starving. I'm sorry. Sorry. Percy. <laughs> All I want to do And now, welcome back to the stage, the one, the only, me. <gasps> Wait, what's that you say? Oh goodness, you're right. We haven't talked about them yet. So since time is running short, I'd like to dedicate this next happy tune to all our Prince Charmings without whom we princesses wouldn't be where we are today. <laughs> Back in the olden days when I had a chore to do, I'd whistle through the daily grind until my face turned The centuries have passed, and I pray things change real soon. Cause here I am still whistling, while I'm dusting, while I'm whistling, and that's a woman that gets me. Gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage my very good friends, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. So when he tells me to do laundry, then to that I say you. And if he wants the bathroom clean, well he can't do that too. He thinks I'll clean his house, then just sit quiet on the show. Let's go! 
Jumping to the finale. Excuse me, but aren't we forgetting a little something? No, Sleepy, we're running out of time. So we're jumping to the finale. But I'm awake now and I'm ready to sing my song. Finale. Can we have a meeting? <laughs> now. Okay, sure. Why can't I just sing my song? You've already had two chances, both of which you slept through. <laughs> really, Sleepy? I don't think I can take one more idiotic, dim-witted assault on my intelligence. Hello. Oh, God. We'll be right with you, folks. We're having a few technical difficulties. Hi. Um, no, there are no technical difficulties. I just can't understand why I can't sing my song. And I don't understand why she doesn't understand that there's no time. And I don't understand why when the prince came looking for the girl who fit the glass slipper, that I was the only one in the kingdom with a size 7. Come on, girls. There are a lot of size 7s out there. Why can't I just sing my song? Because you just don't fit in. <gasps> okay, that's not what I meant. You know what I meant. Oh, no, I know what you meant. I totally get it. I'm not the perfect princess with the perfect hair and the perfect makeup. <laughs> I just thought tonight was going to be about, like, this. I thought maybe tonight wasn't going to be like this. I thought maybe tonight we could just do something like this. <laughs> or this. Or even, like, this for a size. But no, no, this and this just isn't me. Come on, Sleepy, that's not fair. I didn't mean you had to be like that. I was just trying to keep the show moving. I was just trying to get the message out. But you know what? I think your song will fit perfectly right here, so should you go get ready? Oh my god, yes, 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 thank you. Thank Okay, okay, I can be nice. Please, let it go. Can't, Can't hold it back, back anymore. We're not doing this right now. The cold never bothered me anyway. I'm going to need that mirror. Mirror, mirror in my hand. Why, who's that I see as I strike up the band? don't have perfect hair my skin is so not white as snow no i've got freckles everywhere they're just everywhere and i often fall asleep on the throne and on the floor sometimes i even snore but let me share I sleep, I dream, I'm perfect. A dainty little princess 
in a magic wood where I flit around with glee in a gown that's made by she by she cause that's the girl I'm told to be in magazines on MTV in theme parks and on ABC but that kind of girl scares the hell out of me because when I look at my mirror mirror on the wall I really truly like the girl I see because I'm perfect I'm perfectly perfect I like the size of my nose I'm in love from my head to my toes I'm perfect I'm perfect just the way that I am. What's not to love about me? Now there are those who will tell you, not know, it and squeeze it and cinch it. Pinch every inch you can pinch, it's insanity. Why can't we see when all this girling and belting and strapping defines our has gone too far? I guess that's just not me. I've got a better ideology. And here's what Mir Mir's telling me. Just the way that I am. What's not to love about? I'm hot, I'll stand up and shout it out. Guess what? I'm perfectly wild about me. The T. I'm perfect. Perfectly. Me. She's right. 
I am? I am! Yes, you are. I mean, the princess complex is everywhere, but tonight, we stood up against it. And we did it together. And now it's time. It's time we took those well-worn fairy tales and movies with their misguided messages and make them what they really ought to be. Nothing more than just happily ever after. Once upon a time, a princess ate an apple. Poor girl dropped a dead right there on the spot. Once upon a time, a princess pricked her finger. And after that, that princess slept an awful lot. Princess in glass slippers went to the ball so she could leave her broom behind. And no matter the story, we were convinced that happily ever after meant being saved by a prince. Well, that was once upon a time. That was once upon a time. from the ocean gave up everything she had for a guy she thought was cute Take her final whip, and as we plunge into the seas, we'll channel Thelma and the waves and truly. 